Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathy of Kathy's Cash and Coin. I'm a single mom with three daughters. Although my oldest is grown and out of the house. My middle daughter is a college student, but she is home for the summer. And then I have my youngest that lives here with me in our home. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video. Today we're doing the first half of my cash stuffing for the second paycheck of May. We are a bit behind because it is already June. We're already almost a week into June and I haven't even done my cash stuffing. Now I did spend some of the uh, grocery money already, so I will show you that. We have a tiny bit left for the rest of the uh, week till we get to payday again. So I'm gonna get started by counting the money. So today we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95. So we're at 195, 97, 99, 201, 203, 205, 6, 7, 8. So $208 if I counted that right. And as always, we're going to start with my wallet. This is a Moterm wallet, and I will try and have something similar linked below. I did win this in a giveaway, so I did not purchase it. And as always, I'm taking out the receipts so that I can scan them to Fetch. If you're not a member of Fetch, I will have my code up here. You could use that code. You could get some points. I get some points. You turn those points into free gift cards. So... For my wallet, now I did put some dollars. So groceries, this is has been sitting in my wallet because I had a lot of G-Bucks I got back in change and I didn't spend them. I've been saving them for my giveaway envelope. Oh, that's right. I saved the E I saw too because I want to put that in uh, for Costco because we really need to get to Costco. Oh. And I saved one L. I think that's all I need in the Bucks binder to complete so i'm gonna pull that aside in a second but i think that's it oh wait wait, wait, wait. you know when you're not looking for star notes you get them back and change so i'm gonna check this to see if it's worth anything uh if it's a rare bill if not i will probably just put it in the b-box binder but i will put this aside for later so i can research it and there's a website you can check to see if the star notes are worth any more than face value. It's kind of a confusing website, but all right. And then close, all I have is my Kohl's receipt for making that payment. If you could see, pretty empty here. I think Pets, yeah, Pets still has, Pets has a whole $6 left, but I do need to get letters, so we need to get the 20 in here. Oh, and then the coins. You sure get a lot more coins when you are spending cash. Okay, so we're gonna do the Bucks Binder first because I don't wanna miss out on this. So we're gonna go to E. So we have one ebook, and this is extra money for Costco. So let's see what we have right now. We have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we still need twelve more to get this um, twenty-five dollars, but slowly adding up. And then for G's, we have one, two, three, four G's. Oh my gosh, we're almost gonna complete another, and I didn't finish coloring these in. One, two, three, and four. I really need to come back and color all these in from the last time I did a stuffing here. Um, so let's see. So we should have $22, and this is for giveaways. And I'm talking about letter bucks each um, dollar bill and two dollar bill have a letter on them a through l uh depending on where they were um the cat has the zoomies so i apologize <laughs> depending on where they were created or not created i'm sorry distributed he's throwing me off 5 10 12 14 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 t'challa right now dude
And finally, one more L box. L buck will give us another, again, I picked the wrong purple. This one is super exciting. So Lex is my oldest daughter. Her name is Alexis, we call her Lex. She is getting married in October. So this $25 will go into the wedding envelope. So we have 20, one, two, three, four, and five. And I really apologize about the cat in the background. Um, I gotta get this video done because we gotta stuff my wallet, but we made awesome progress. This is so exciting. We will wipe this off. We will start it again, and hopefully we can get it done again before her wedding in October. I am trying to give them $2,000 towards their wedding or honeymoon or life, whatever. So this binder was created by Reinventing Renee. You cannot get the binder anymore, but you can get the tracker so you can track your own bucks. I feel like uh, this is an easy challenge that anybody can do, adding $1 at a time. Yes, it may take a while to get up to 25 in some of these letters, but each dollar does add up. And I've finished the G's a few times only because G is Chicago. That's where they're distributed. So it's easier for me to get the G's. Okay, we are moving on to groceries. So for groceries, um, I had designated $150. We spent most of that. All we have left is $35. So we're going to do 25, 30, 5. So we have 25, $35 for groceries. And this has to last us till Friday, which is payday. So it's not that bad. Not that, not, not that hard to do, I guess. And then dining out, we have not eaten out. So we're going to add 20 to that, which is really good. Or I shouldn't say we have not eaten out. We haven't eaten out, but um, it was with my parents. So my dad paid, of course. All right, miscellaneous is getting $10. Oh, and that $5 star note was, um, we got that back in change at five below. So it's amazing when you're not looking for star notes that you get them back. But um, we, we went to five below to get Autumn some goggles for swim. And sure enough, we get a star note back and change. It was wild. All right, clothes is getting $20. And this will be going towards my Kohl's card at the end of the month. I will use the second paycheck of June also to cover that. Gifts, I decided to do $10 uh, because we don't have any major birthdays again until uh, we have one in June and then um, a couple in August. And health. Health is going to get $20. This is for prescriptions, co-payments, all of that good stuff. And pets is also going to get $20. It does have the six left over. I am rolling that over. So at $25, $26 in pets. And finally, blessings. Blessings will get $5. I feel so much better having the wallet stuffed and ready to go. Um, I do, like I said, need to go get to the store to get some cat litter and some more groceries. Don't have a whole bunch for groceries, but we're almost at another payday, so that's good. <laughs> okay, moving on to my revolving binder. And this binder is money in, money out categories. I did fill out the trackers so I can stay on task. We're gonna start with school. School is gonna get $5. Oh, that is nasty, but that's okay. And it should be at 85, 20, 40, 65, 75, 85. 85 dollars i did see online i will probably have to order this month's school supplies for audie and um which is nice that they have the package at her high school to get all the supplies that she should need so i might do that so that might come out of there and i finally got the landscaper bill uh, for my parents' property, so I will make a payment on that, and then my, my siblings will all pay me back for it. I think it was for one in April and all of May. That's why we never got one for April, because they didn't want to charge just the one-time fee. Um, so, let's see. For Landscaper, we're going to be at $55. $20, $45, dollars $55 for Landscaper. And like I said, I split this with my siblings, so it does not cost um, that much when it's split between six of us. <laughs> All right, holidays, moving on to holidays. Oh, holidays isn't getting anything. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 105, but I do have like over $200 in my holidays challenge. 
so we are doing really well on holidays um the next big one we will celebrate will be well we'll have father's day but i have a separate challenge for that um but we have fourth of july and fourth of july we do spend a lot we go up to michigan we get fireworks all you know all the things okay moving on to family fun it is getting a whole two dollars and should now be at $90. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 87, 89, $90. And I do plan to do a bill condensing at the end of June, so end of quarter two. All right, moving on to birthdays. Now I do have one fully funded birthday um, category and that is for Ari or for her birthday in November. And then we are adding $3 to this one. This one will be for my other two girls who, whose birthdays are in February. So we have 10, 15, 20, 25, 27, 29, and $30. So that's a good start for next February. But I do have a challenge going on four birthdays so i, I want to try and save at least 150 for each of my daughters moving on to costco i am getting like this close to having to go to costco so i am trying really hard when i see ebooks now i'm trying to save them so that we can add to that we added ten dollars so we're at 20 45 55 65 70 dollars and i don't want to go to costco with like less than 100 i would like to go with 200 but we'll see um I know, you know, we're going to need paper towels and toilet paper, and I, I would really like to go there to get them, but we're getting close. We'll see. <laughs> Mortgage, etc. I already explained that in my budget with me. I'll have that linked in the cards. So um, this is, again, for May. I already paid June's mortgage, so there's no money left in there. Um, we will put more in there with June's paycheck, which will be uh, coming up. On, I'll get paid on Friday again. Moving on to self-care, I do plan to go get my nails done within the next week. So we're adding $20, and I usually try and get them $2 bills. I didn't do that this time, but we have $20, 40 um, I might swap something out for some twos somewhere later on. Okay, and giving. Giving, I don't think I designate, I didn't designate anything because I do have a challenge that's about to wrap up that's $100, and that is going to go right in here when it's completed, and I think having $100 in here is um, plenty for now. All right, moving on to Mom Fuel. This is for all my coffee needs. We're going to be at 5 and 10 for co my coffee. I drink Bulletproof coffee. I like a specific brand, so uh, we're going to try and build that up again. And finally, miscellaneous. If you saw, I had a miscellaneous in my wallet. Now I have a miscellaneous also in here, five and 10. When I get to, uh, in my next video, my, my vacation binders, you'll see there's miscellaneous in those. I have a lot of miscellaneous envelopes and I just think it's good to have that little buffer um, for things you don't think of. All right, that is it for my revolving binder. Okay, and moving on to my savings binder. So. We are gonna start with Ari. She is my middle daughter, and she is getting two. I think we're we're gonna all get two dollars. Is what I decided. So we have one, two, three, four. She has four hundred dollars in her high yield savings account. Five, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen. So four hundred and seventeen dollars for Ari altogether, including what's in her high yield savings. And then my youngest daughter is also getting $2 and should be at $352. Really, she's going to be at $377 because there is an extra $25 in her high yield savings. Um, but once this gets to three set, um, once the non prop, once all this gets to $75, I will switch this out for a $100 bill because of that extra $25 in her account from my mom. So we have one, two, 300 in her high yield savings 20 35 45 47 49 51 52 so she has 352 like i said it's really 377 but i'm not going to put a 25 dollar prop bill in here so. all right that's for my youngest and then moving on to my savings that was this was depleted 
uh just still getting two dollars this was depleted when was it um the early early april uh for car maintenance so we have 5 10 15 17 and this is not my only savings it's just an added one australia and this is a very long-term goal i was hoping i was going to be able to add five dollars to be able to color another little kangaroo on my caro cash tracker but unfortunately this time we are only able to add one dollar and so we have one one two three hundred in my high yield savings 20 40 65 75 76 dollars so hopefully we can get the other four dollars in here to color another little tracker next time that would be cool and then Ari's car. We have been saving a long time for Ari's car. We're gonna add $5 to it. And we have one, two, three, four, 20, 40, 60, 75, 85, 90. 490 dollars for ari's car and she has over 60 to 650 so i'm trying to match that it's been a long while to try and catch her but she hasn't been adding to it so that's making it a little easier for me again i apologize if you hear a little crinkling that is uh the turtle trying to climb up into his basking area <laughs> And finally, the last dollar is going to my new car. So we have 5, 10, 15, 16. This, again, was uh, depleted in early April on car maintenance. So we have $16 started for that. And finally, my old bills collection. I don't really have old bills to show you, but I do have something pretty cool. Um, I've shown my old bills before, and maybe next time I'll show them again. But this was brought over by my dad, and this has been at his house for a long time. It is from... 1976 okay this is um from 1976 it's not it's kind of uh worn out or got wet it looks like here a little um stained a bit but it is an uncut sheet of two dollar bills and if you look at the two dollar bills they are g bucks so they're they were distributed uh or planned to be distributed in chicago and they're star notes all of them uncut star notes I was just blown away. So we have one, two, wait, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 of them. Is that, yeah, 16 of them. So it's $32 in $2 bills. And I'm not going to add it to um, my, I don't plan to add it in here to count as an old bill for my collection. That will definitely never be spent. I will never cut those $2 bills apart. Not that these would ever be spent. Um, next time I fill this binder after the uh, next payday, I'll show you guys my old bill collection again. But I just thought that was super cool and super sweet of him. He thought since I've been saving the old bills that I would want something like that. I think it's partly because they're downsizing and he's just getting rid of stuff, but I was glad to take it. Um, so I'm gonna put it in more of a better protective cover um so that it doesn't get any more damaged all right well that's it guys thank you so much for watching i appreciate you being here i will see you in my next video which will be my cash stuffing of the rest of my binders i have five more binders to stuff and um and then autumn and i will be picking the winners for our giveaway on uh Thursday night after uh, midnight our time, Central Standard Time. Uh, and I really am going to do my best to get that video up on Saturday the 10th. So stay tuned for that. You guys take care. Have a blessed day. Bye.